Hi, I'm Amy Seifert, teacher and author of Grace Looks Amazing on You. And today's verse is Philippians 4, 4 that says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. And the message says, celebrate God all day, every day. I mean, revel in him. Paul pens these words to a church in Philippi, but we can't forget what, where he actually is when he's writing this. His joy cannot be jailed as he is in chains in prison. And it's not just one line in a letter. He, he talks about joy over 15 times in this, in this letter here. And, and let's notice what it is he's telling us to rejoice in. It is God himself to rejoice in the Lord and his character and his compassionate grace and his justice and mercy in him. It's not a call to rejoice in our circumstances. It's a call to rejoice in him who is with us in our circumstances, which is a really helpful distinction because so many of our circumstances are truly terrible. When our 11-year-old son was diagnosed with a chronic disease, we were not reveling in this news, but we could celebrate the fact that God was such a good shepherd to us in this. He led us to a great health and treatment plan. He gave us peace. He was with us in the middle of the circumstance. So today, let's center God and decenter ourselves and our circumstances. We, we're often just a perspective shift away from changing our entire day. So if you are feeling rejected, Celebrate that God came so that you would belong to him because we're called children of God if we believe in Jesus. If you're feeling unseen or undervalued, revel in a God who saw Hannah in her distress, in her infertility, in her fears, and he moved toward her. If you're feeling overwhelmed by your own brokenness, rejoice in a God who made you in his good image. And no amount of your brokenness will cancel the bright beauty that God has put inside of you. So let's celebrate God in our circumstances today.